Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to update the Behringer Flow 8. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now I have the Behringer Flow 8 sitting here, and I am wanting to update the firmware. Now my laptop itself does not have a normal USB. Uh, it has a USB-C, so I am just using a USB-C to USB-B, or the printer cable type, and that that is plugging in from the back of the Flow 8 into my laptop. And then we also have applied power to the Flow 8. And you'll notice that I don't have anything plugged into this. I don't like updating firmware with PAs on. So also, don't ever update firmware on a day of show. Always give yourself a couple days extra before that show or that church service or whatever just in case something goes wrong. Now, I haven't had anything go wrong in any Behringer updates before, but I always like to have that rule there. Now, I have my computer here open, and I am going to open up this program called Simply Put, and I'm going to make sure that I am connected to internet, and it is going to automatically download the firmware that you have of the device connected to it. So we have the Flow 8 here, and my computer has now verified that it's the Flow 8, and it needs to update. So all I have to do is select what version of firmware I want to update to, and I can press Open. And it's going to ask for a new memory structure, and all I'm going to do is press Continue. So we can now see that it says Firmware Update in Progress. And once I've done that, I can now go ahead and press update. And we will now notice that this screen says updating. And we can also see that there is a good scroll wheel here showing us how, many, how much percentage is left during this update. There we go, and we can see now that we are booted back into the normal function of the Flow 8, and I can go ahead and press close on my computer and get to mixing. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you getting your Behringer Flow 8 updated. Now, this was really easy for me. I've never had this easy of an update process, <laughs> to be honest. It's always downloading something, putting it on a USB drive after you unzip it, getting it on the root folder, and then plugging it into the console, and then doing some sort of different button presses to get it to update. But this was really easy. Just power it on, plug in the USB cable, have the program downloaded, which you can download off of Behringer's website for free, and you can update your Flow 8. If you do happen to have any questions, feel free to post in the comment section below. Also, if you have ideas of videos that you want me to make on the Flow 8 or other consoles that are out there, put it in the comment section below, as I'm always looking through those comments to find things that are going to be helpful for you in my future videos. If you haven't already, make sure to become a subscriber or consider becoming a member of my channel to help support me in making of these videos. I hope you have a great day.